Hey guys, welcome back. This is my spoilery book talk on You by Carolyn Kepnes. If you haven't read this book yet, click away now, go pick up that book, read it, come back, and we can discuss more about the book. If you are watching, I'm going to go right ahead and assume that you already know what this book is about, otherwise you wouldn't be watching. So let's go ahead and just jump right in to the nitty gritty details. All throughout this book, I found it really interesting how Joe was able to justify his actions and just overall the way that Joe's mind worked. He was written in such a way that made me really feel for him. At many times, I did find him really charming and that made it even more unsettling when a in the next paragraph, for example, he revealed that he had just killed someone or that he broke into someone's apartment, but it wasn't really breaking in because he didn't steal anything. I just thought that weaving that in so seamlessly was such a brave and unique choice for the author to make and it really worked for the character and because of how seamlessly everything was woven in together I found myself having to back up and reread sections multiple times because I had just been really in the zone really flying through sections and then all of a sudden like in the case with Benji's death he just randomly was like well turns out he was allergic to peanuts and I was like wait what and I just loved things like that. It kept me on my toes and it forced me to pay attention to the little details from start to finish. And for that reason, I felt really engaged all throughout the book. Because I was able to sympathize with Joe, I found myself really disliking all of the other characters. He made it really easy to hate them. I mean, take Benji for example. He's obviously a douche. He just is. He's a mean guy and he's manipulative and I wasn't really sad when he died. I didn't like Peach. She was a psycho, let's just be honest, but I did love when it was revealed that she was also obsessed with Beck, but she did it in more of a quiet, like manipulatively friendly way. I just thought that that was so interesting and I loved reading the dynamic between Beck and Joe and Peach. I really did like Beck in the beginning, but as the story went on, I started liking her less and less, and by the end, it was definitely easy to see why Joe had to kill her, especially after he went and met with Dr. Nikki, and you kind of realize that, yeah, Beck was the common denominator in all of the events that unfolded throughout this entire book, and maybe she just needed to be punished for it. I don't know, it was a really unique take on it and you just don't read thriller books from the stalker's point of view very often and I just can't say enough how interested I was and how invested I was in the story from start to finish. While I was reading, one detail kind of stuck out to me multiple times and I thought about it more and more and kind of thought about about the title of the book in a deeper meaning because on the surface it's very easy to say yes you is referring to Beck but in all of the different situations that play out over the course of the book Joe refers to each person as you and so I feel like you doesn't just apply to Beck it applies to all of the different pieces in this puzzle and how Joe related to each and every person throughout the entire course of the story. I don't know if that was intentional, but if it was, I think that that is one of the most clever things that I have ever read in a book. So obviously this book was unlike anything that I've ever read before and I absolutely loved it. I could go on and on and on about this book, but I would much rather continue the discussion in the comment section below. So if you've read this book, please let me know what you thought about it so that we can talk about this book some more because I could go on forever about this book. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!